Hello again, welcome to another daily. It's Lazarus today. Hmm. Lazarus, what do we do as Lazarus? We kill ourselves on the first floor. Uh, this is probably a bad start. <laughs> uh, maybe on the second floor. I want to take these. I think killing ourselves... Hmm. In order to do that correctly, we'd have to already have died when we went into the curse room for the first time. And then we would have one HP, and then the two... Ooh, Ludo. The two spirit hearts that we got from it. Oh, and a health up. <laughs> um, would... Sort of be helpful. Whereas... Oh, very painful, but at least we got a black marker. Now that we've already been in there... I don't know how it would work trying to die in there. Maybe we kill ourselves with a bomb? probably the only way I could think of to do that correctly. I uh, probably could have done a little bit better on the room that just exploded us as well, but never mind. You win some, you lose some. Let's look for some coins in these fires. We got a coin from the fire. I'm a fan of that. Crawl space didn't seem to give us too much, but did get us some uh, money. Which means on the next floor we could think about using a blood bank to kill ourselves and hoping that it pays out with HP sort of in the process. For perfect timing, then as it killed us, uh, it would produce a, a blood bag. Yeah. Which is the ideal situation, but very unlikely to happen. Uh, that, as soon as we get an arcade at all, let's, uh, let's kill this one. <laughs> the slow one that's easy to hit. Ludo is a decent item, it's sort of a blue baby's only friend that also gets your tear effect. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not hugely strong with Blue Baby's only friend, and therefore nor with Ludo, especially when the enemies are moving really, really fast. Gemini is not a big deal, I think, here, as long as we get it when it's stopped for a breath, we should be okay. And the speed upgrade, and more HP, look. <laughs> the HP is not really helping me. Because we know as Lazarus, in order to get a good benefit, we want to kill ourselves. We did get an arcade, and it does have a blood bank, so I think we should go play this quite low. Maybe not any lower than that, though. We've got enough money to see what's in the shop. Although we're going to need a second key to do that, but hopefully that isn't going to be too difficult to come by. Uh, help. These very mobile enemies are the sort that make it extremely hard to uh, get a good benefit out of uh, Ludovico technique. I don't really want Lost Protector. All it really does is float around the edge of a room and do damage to anything that it comes in contact with, which is, as you can imagine, not particularly useful when on the majority of rooms the enemies are in the middle, which is where we want them. I'm going to keep hold of the spirit heart that we do have, the half a spirit heart anyway. Uh, if we can bolster it with a second one, just to guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil, I would like to do so. Obviously that goes against our ideal, which is to, as Lazarus, die somehow. Well, we could do this. Right. Here's my plan. We get to the boss, we find our deal with the devil. <laughs> the plan also involves this tinted rock having a spirit heart in it. Please do. It does. We don't die on the boss. We don't get hit, red heart hit, on whatever this boss is. Help, help. There's another key. Then, it's pinned by the way, uh, in case you couldn't read. I don't know if actually that was too quick for you to read it, but it is pinned. When we have had our deal with the devil, our shot's attack speed is very slow. We will take whatever we can, try and guarantee ourselves uh, future deals with the devil. This is very, very good indeed. This is not. Oh, I hurt, but okay. Um, then we go to the shop. I was going to use the Hermit card to get out of the curse room, but that was because we didn't have a key, which I've now used. I don't really want any of this, but I'll buy a key to replace it. Uh, we should go to the curse room as well. We're quite quick. I'd like to be out of here a little bit faster than we're likely to be, but uh, that's okay. We could use the Hermit card to sort of scum up the speed rather than... <coughs> rather than the damage of the curse room, but I'm not 
hugely worried about it, if I'm honest. This may be a terrible curse room. It's a pretty bad curse room, yes. So, killing ourselves as Lazarus is looking less likely. I can't think of a decent way of doing it now. That doesn't put us at a major disadvantage, because we've taken all the HP that would have bolstered us as a result. In fact, we got a lot of HP, we probably should have killed ourselves straight away, but you can never tell that. You know, there's, there's no guarantee that it's ever going to work, and there's a strong likelihood that it's going to work against you, so, <laughs> you know, it would have been a huge gamble, a huge risk to try that. If you did that, you know, more power to you. We could scum up this room. I'm not sure whether it's worth anything to complete it. Uh, maybe, so we'll find out. Let's watch the score. If nothing else, we may get a consumable at the end of it. If you could not be on the other side of the floor, so I don't have to pilot my Ludo tier all the way over to you. This is great. Sorted. Uh, yeah, we got a couple, like 100 points or so for that, so I'm pleased to have done it. Do I want to do this? Do I want the left hand? That's the real question. Again, we should check our score for doing this. Uh, about 20 points. We will take the left hand. If we could become Guppy, Guppy Ludo basically produces a stream of flies towards wherever your tier is, which is, well, providing it's hitting something, uh, which is very strong. I'm still trying to think of a decent way of killing ourselves. Because uh, there's no HP even lying around on this floor. There's no spirit hearts, there's no items that we haven't taken. It's just a very normal Caves 1, I suppose. C caves? Catacombs. Catacombs 1, I suppose. Uh, we may be able to get into the curse room for free as well. This is often a secret room here. We'll try it. It's not. Mildly surprising, but not overwhelmingly so. Um, our best bet to kill ourselves then is to try to find somewhere that has an HP upgrade available. Maybe the shop. No, but there is... I think I'll take this. Because if we want to keep the left hand, we want the guppy chance from the red chests. But we also may want to actually take a useful trinket for ourselves. This is sort of best of both worlds at this stage. Ludo's great against this particular enemy, or this sort of enemy. Wow! I, however, may be the weak link in this chain. We did okay. Right. There is some HP. We should kill ourselves before it's too late. See, if I'd known that the boss was there, I wouldn't have even tried that for the secret room. First of all, we'll take jam damage just getting in here. Two chests, not so great for us. Pheromones and retrovision. Retro then we will probably just die somewhere. Because there's HP. So, even though I haven't seen a tinted rock since you know time began, we can hurt ourselves on this fire fall over dead, come back, take the HP up, excuse me, take the HP upgrade, and go. Hopefully we can find a spirit heart on the next floor. If nothing else, um, in the shop. Uh, and we do have the Hermit card to help us with that. We have a bomb as well to help us if we decide that we want to try our luck on a tinted drop. There is one in this room, but it's inaccessible, so we'll probably not be going with that. The trail of creep from, uh, what's it called? Little Gish? No, Ball of Tar. It's actually really helpful and we found our boss already. I'm half tempted to try it but I kind of want to guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil so I'd like to be able to get the tinted drop. Ah, fucked it. Fucked it, it's dead. The dream is dead. Everyone, just give up now. I didn't check the scores, George Dawes before we started. So I don't really know what we're aiming at. We are only going to Mom after all, but we're so fast I've not even sort of mentioned it. The boss Rush I mention every time. And honestly, it's it's such a no-brainer. You have to do it. Even if it's a full Mega Satan run, you have to do Boss Rush, you have to do Hush, or you're not a contender. This is a this is great. I love Ludo when it's so far back like this. Um, and previously I have been guilty of failing to really pay attention to how fast I am. 
I'm exploring this floor, by the way, even though I've found the boss. Because I want the item room. But I don't know where it is. Um, here it is. Excellent. And the shop's here too, so we can get an extra coin. Oh, yes, we don't need a coin to get a spirit heart. Do we want a spirit heart? I think we do. Chocolate milk is a... M uh, sorry. Soy milk is a big no. There's no spirit heart for sale. There is a coin... Like, do we want to buy steam sale for the future? I think we do. It means on the next floor, a spirit heart will be half price, if at all. Let's go and fight the boss. And hope for the best. I mean, we could very much die on this boss fight, because Ludo is kind of difficult to work with sometimes. Luckily, it's the hollow, which is super easy. And even Larry Senior can't help do anything about that. Uh, we'll just leave. We're doing so quickly, we've explored the entire floor as far as I'm concerned. I wasn't too concerned about the curse room. Now I think about it, there was HP on the ground. It was possibly worth doing. Uh, we've got a hermit card, so let's just do this. Don't care about it. Uh, and there is a spirit heart, so we haven't been hit yet. Ah, oh, but I've got no money. Alright, ooh, one coin. Not enough! We need another coin without being hit. Oh, our, our tier is moving very fast now, which is very gratifying. And yeah, this, this slowing creep means that things can't quite get near us, which I'm finding extremely helpful right now. And this is an excellent item too. We've become very strong on the past couple of floors, uh, and I don't, don't think I don't recognise this. There's my other coin, which will protect me from damage until we find the boss by buying this spirit heart. This should give us the best chance to deal with the devil. We haven't taken any damage yet. Uh, I'm as surprised as you are. Um, we'll just mosey on down here, I guess. I heard a drop already. See, these things are reasonably easy to deal with. They're about as fast as my tier, and they're very predictable. There we go. Sort Ted. There is a key down there. Key and a bomb for potential spirit heart, and we get the key back, so it's a bomb for spirit heart, which is worth doing, and we get a free pill, which is 40 hour energy, which is not very useful. We won't do that one though, there's no key on the other side of it, which was the only real reason I did the first one. These things are also completely countered by the Ludovico technique. Question marks, which does, who knows. That appears to have made me have Curse of the Maze. Pretty sure I didn't have it when I arrived on this floor, but you can check the footage yourselves if you don't believe me. Uh, I'm not going to waste our spirit heart on the Curse room. Let's try these. So fast, I don't really need to think too much about rushing, you know. The only difference between now and normal boss rush is that normal boss rush you'd be looking for a teleport card to get out of it. I hate these things, they get you from across the map. You have to watch out for the shadows, or try and corral them all into the same place so you know where they are. Hopefully that's it, yep. We found the item room in the shop, we've got a boss fight which is Mask of Infamy which, when slowed, is reasonably easy. Now the mask itself does take uh, damage from the stuff on the ground, as you can see, which made it extremely easy for us to deal with that. Uh, just lay down that creep. And um, Krampus, I might actually have a chance at, because Ludovico technique means I don't have to aim at it. I think my weakness with Krampus is quite simply that you have to be in line with it. We should explore. This is Necropolis 1 at 12 minutes. We're going to get a bonus for time, irrespective of what we do. But you get like 30 points for each room, and normally I wouldn't really consider the. Oh, that was quick. I wouldn't consider the the min maxing of help. Oh, that was really bad. Finding these extra points, but it's going to be such a short run. Everybody is going to be in a very tight points pool. You know, all our points are going to be very similar to one another. So anything that we can do to, to add few extra points here and there. Not taking damage, I concur, would be a very strong way of going about doing that. And I think I'm going to spend a bomb and a key in the hopes of getting a spirit heart here. Oh, I didn't. What's this? Speed up. Well, it's kind of worth it. I mean, it wasn't worth the gamble, but it paid out. It paid off. Well, we'll leave. We'll get the extra HP for the eternal heart. And there's no more floors. No, there's no more rooms on the floor. We're so far ahead of that clock. We can basically do this entire floor and not worry about it. Um, yeah, just don't take red heart damage for a while. There's nothing else on that floor to 
hurt us anyway. We'll see if we can figure out which side of that is likely to be a secret room. I'm <laughs> half expecting that it's the side with the bomb rock, because bomb rocks don't make bridges. So we might have to use both of our bombs to deal with that room anyway. You're not going to last. There we go. I'll tell you what, this uh, poison effect at the start of each room. Magnificent, is it not? Everything just sort of dies. Anything that's left is so weakened. Ah, this is good. And number four will re-roll all item pedestals on the ground, although actually I really, really want Daddy Long Legs, so I'm going to keep it. But we may find another item pedestal, maybe uh, Bob's brain in a golden chest or something. We've got enough keys and it's not like we need to keep hold of them. We're not going anywhere that's key strong, like the Hush Fight, so we'll just... We'll just plod along here, I suppose. Now, either of these could be a cursed uh, secret room, so I'm going to just put it here. It is the cursed, the secret room. Uh, not brilliant. But that thing died immediately, so I can't be too salty. One bomb for this. I'm going to say no. The reason I'm going to say no is this bomb could be a lot more valuable to get maybe a tinted rock. It could get us a stone chest could get us a bridge to something I actually really care about. It's many more uses for a bomb and it could just make a fight go a little bit faster to be fair. Not that Daddy Longlegs doesn't already have a, our backs on that. Avoiding the spikes, doing okay. I've done reasonably badly very recently. Um, that was a uh, case in point right there. Uh, another case and another point. Greed. Greed didn't last. Uh, I'm trying to, as I know, work on my dodging. Make sure I'm paying attention, that sort of thing. There is some red HP on the ground, so we'll go and get it. Um, got plenty of time, basically. But I've been playing particularly badly recently because, well, we all saw that lost run, which many people died on the first floor, uh, which got us to 170th position. A bit lower than that in, in the final rankings, but 170th at the time, which is... Just <laughs> brilliant for me. But recently, I lost the Blue Baby run. I lost the Eve run that you didn't see because it was so bad that I just <laughs> didn't feel comfortable uploading it. I didn't do very well on the yesterday's daily, uh, which I failed to record because I'm an idiot. There should be a secret room around here somewhere. Here, no, here. No. Last guess would be here. Yes. Uh, it's not my favourite, if I'm being honest. But the runes could be good. This is what we get. Algiers. Bacano will use. Algiers. Algiers. Blank rune. Blank rune gives us... Ah. Uh, Dagas. So, do I want the chariot or Algiers? I think Algiers is... is Resistance lasts longer. We'll just fight Mom. It could help us in the boss rush, which we're absolutely definitely going to do because we have four minutes to do this fight, which is normal Mom. Another thing to work on uh, that I need to work on, and anyone who's new to the game should also think about working on, uh, is not panicking during the Mom fight. The the foot just comes down, squishes you. It's very very intimidating because you don't get much of a telegraph for that particular attack. Um, my advice from having gone from doing really badly at it all the time to doing okay at it all the time oops, I didn't mean to see that uh, would be to not panic <laughs> deal with the riffraff keep moving but not such, like, move, move slowly I guess uh, you want to be out of the way you want to be... Don't want to stand in the same place for too long because the mom foot will come down and squish you, right? But if you move around too much, you just run into the riffraff that you haven't taken care of yet. Uh, so, the easiest thing to do there is to move around sufficiently slowly. Oh my god. <laughs> that one killed that one. I love that. I'm very much a fan of that. Sufficiently slowly that you don't keep walking into things, but sufficiently quickly... Uh, that you're not standing around for too long. And also don't stand in the same place twice. That should be self-evident because if you do that, you haven't really given yourself a benefit of moving out of the way of the mom. 
There are two of them. This is not something I'm a fan of. Is this an entirely champion boss rush? Let's see if we can keep track of Monstro 2, because I can't keep track of Monstro 2, but that's okay. It's the first damage we've taken on boss rush. Although, in fairness, I did have a little bit of help from the Dark One, as it just completely obliterated Gemini for me. Uh, I'd like to try and bait you into shooting. There we go. I just need Monstro 2 to stand the hell still for a while. Obviously a, a disadvantage of the Ludovico technique is that you have to keep moving the tier. You can't just stop using it like you would your own tiers. Oh, that was close, but somehow I popped it. Uh, I think I want to get rid of these gurglings first, even though I don't know where... Uh, I think it's Pete, not the bloat, so that's okay. I don't know where Pete is. Or where my tier is. <laughs> but one thing you can tell with enemies that jump is that if you're on the other side of the rocks... They're not going to get to you. They can't jump over rocks, which is bizarre, but you can see why it would happen from a game development standpoint. Help! Oh, I just walked straight into that, didn't I? You all saw it. Um, but you can use rocks as safety against leaping enemies, including Monstro 2. Oh, you're still alive, are you? Uh, and that's little Steven there helping out with the occasional shot that's seeking down the more tenacious enemies. Death is probably a bad thing to not be attacking first. Carrion Queen can charge you from across the map. I just got hit by that scythe, which I didn't see. Look, let's take out Death. We're not concentrating on Death's scythes right now. Oh dear. Our damage is not tremendously brilliant. Why is this still hitting me? I'm pretty sure this version of Death does not have Seeking scythes. It's doing really badly. Uh, that died due to magic, so I'm going to allow it. We've got a lot of waves to get through and only 3 HP. I'm not sure where those spirit hearts came from, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to accept it as canon, I guess. There's plenty of red HP on the ground. We didn't pick up Gimpy, did we? Oh, it's frail. This makes me slightly less than happy about my situation. Oh, oh. Right, I know where it is. Just keep moving. The Fallen, we've already dealt with. Maybe we should use our Algis rune again? Did that last time, after all. There's something moving around, and I can't tell what it is. It's double cage. This doesn't fill me with confidence either, if I'm honest with you. Stop! Oh, look what you've done! What an asshole. Let's get rid of... Look, just stand, stand still. Keep standing still and die. Please. Yes, good, that one's down. There's one of these things, which does beam attacks. So we'll get rid of that. And then we'll try and find the other cage. Gate. Cage? Cage. Yeah. Like our, our slowing creep is helping here as well, but it just doesn't stop. Some enemies, e.g. Dingle uh, or Gurdy Jr., just don't move at all when they're slowed, which is tremendously good for us when we've got something as annoyingly slow as Ludo Vicho technique. Yeah, we must have something that's producing um, oh, uh, 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 HP, because when these enemies die, they keep producing HP. This is the extremely fast dingle, but it's not moving, so that's a bonus. Daddy Longlegs is really pulling its weight today, though. You do four of these, right? I know two. What have we got? Uh, Chub and an angel. Well, we'll focus on the angel and hope that Daddy Longlegs focuses on Chub. How about that? I guess that's... Oh, it did seem to work that way, actually. I guess that's how uh, Carrion Queen died. Still not sure where to stand in these, so it tends to be a good idea just to sort of stand neither at 45 degrees nor at 90 degrees to it. Uh, yeah, I like that, although that wasn't intentional. I'll pretend it was. I think we're nearly there. Uh, we've not taken too much stupid damage, but I think I've taken... Well, I suppose stupid damage any is too much, right? Uh, but still. I feel like I could have done worse. And this should drop a spirit heart, so... Yeah, and an HP. So if you slow down... Please. Thank you. Please be slowed. War should be slowable as well. Help! Daddy Longlegs, sort him out. Not him. Well, now we know that War has less HP than... Do we? I thought Daddy Longlegs attached the... Attached? Attacks the one with more HP, but... Apparently I'm wrong. This is reasonably easy because it's so slow and it's chasing us on our slowing creep. I don't know what's over there. Oh, we should take this out first, because it's going to be easier. But more annoying if you don't. Yeah, there we go. 